you can't take any chances with this kind of weather here anticipating tropical storm Karen. They've had 24 hours of preparations, fearing the worst, even though this storm system won't get any stronger as it bears down on Louisiana late on Saturday night. But the knock-on effect, as ever, is huge. Many forms of travel disrupted, and airline passengers either staying away or quite content to spend some time not flying at all. My morale is good because I'm here safely, not in the ditch, and it's just a slight inconvenience to be here over the weekend when I didn't intend to. Actually, it's not the most beautiful place to be stuck, <laughs> and in this kind of airport where nobody's going to stay here, um, so it's a bit, a bit uh, depressive uh, moments, but we'll try to uh, just to fix it. Alabama joining Louisiana, Mississippi and Florida in declaring a state of emergency while oil platforms miles away in the Gulf stopped production just in case. Across the US, the problem is not wind and rain, it's snow, a lot of it, up to a metre in some places, the handiwork of an early, unusual, fierce storm making its way out of the Rockies. The National Weather Service, running on a skeleton staff because of the federal shutdown in Washington, issued blizzard and severe winter storm warnings in some areas, and there have been a few power cuts, but the emergency services are coping with no reports of anyone being in any immediate danger. Peter Dobby, BBC News.